uh, I have been asked to, to accompany Commissioner Jaleba after the hearing. She's going to make uh, a statement after the hearing to evaluate what has happened. Uh, we are only going to have time for one or two questions maximum. So I, with no more, uh, no more waste of time, I give the floor to Commissioner Desine Jaleba. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here with you in my first meeting um, with the Brussels Press Corp as a commissioner designate. I touch a lot of, of importance to the parliamentarian hearings. It is certainly not easy for the commissioner designate and um, I guess it is also hard for you as a journalist covering uh, European news. I think it is very important that um, elected representatives of the citizens exercise their control on the appointed college. It is a very um, high level democratic exercise. For respect to the deliberation of uh, the committee and uh, so their discussions and exchange of views right now, I will not make any comment on the substance of the hearings. Everything I had to say, I have said. So however, if the result of the hearing is positive, I am confident that uh, we will have many opportunities to work together on the important issue which is humanitarian aid and uh, crisis response. So, I will be very keen to answer one or two one, questions. Yes, one or two questions. So, who's going to be the first? Anyone want to open the floor? Yes, I see one question there. Yes? No? Okay. Pourtant? Commissioner Nicolas Grovered for West France. Uh, uh, why are you so confident? Because the, the, the feeling that we have at the, at, the, at the end of the ring is that uh, it's, it's not possible for you to, to be commissioners. Why, what are you so confident at, uh, on the, the feeling of the your deputies as the contrary of you? Because uh, I, uh, I was asked and I was here to um, present my knowledge on uh, the issue of um, humanitarian aid and crisis response. And uh, I did uh, this uh, in a proper way to answer the questions related to that. And um, this is uh, actually the substance of my work. And uh, I would like to be evaluated on uh, the professional um, answers. I have uh, uh, provided to the uh, members of the parliament on these two particular issues. Okay, Anko, oui. Henry Biros from the Swedish Daily. You got the question several times. What happened with your company during 2007 to 2009? And did you sell it? And how much did you get paid for it? You didn't answer that question. I'm sorry. You have to answer that question to, to, for, for us to have anything to write about so if, can, if you have got any chance to be a commissioner. So uh, let me clarify something. So I'm not the owner of this company right now. So I repeated this many times during the hearing. And I have every uh, documents and every information which are related to this case to this particular case, and uh, these are official confirmations from official institutions in Bulgaria. So, how much money did you get? Yeah, did you sell it, and how, how much money, money did you just, get for just it? Just one second. Just one second. Just let let the commissioner end her answer, please. So, uh, I cannot remember, but it was uh, not a huge amount. Believe me. So. You sold it in 2009, or yes. when did you sell it? Yes. And what, yes. what, what happened with it during 2007 until 2009? So yeah, why, if you got money for it, it was uh, something worth anyway? No, no, no. Because uh, um, if I have gotten money for this job, I have uh, to declare them. And the, this company was not active on the market. And you can see this so that uh, uh, from the declarations uh, uh, provided to the official institutions in Bulgaria that this company has uh, done nothing, so zero activity. And this is... How could it be worth Sorry, anything? it was, Sorry? It was two questions. According to the rules of the parliament, we only could have two questions. So thank you very much for coming to this press conference. Good night. <laughs>